Every time you shop at Target, you need to do a haul because it's so expensive. Might as well show what you got. Those vlogs you've been seeing have been me navigating through being unemployed. Okay. Are we on a dieta? Oh, anyways. <laughs> Girl, I forgot about that dieta. Let me be honest with you. Hello, it's Thursday. I'm gonna set y'all up on this little seasoning rack. So, hold up. If you're wondering. This is a cute little angle, I think. Whatever, I'm gonna just start not caring anymore. Today is Thursday. Yesterday I was a wreck. It is 9 a.m. We're doing a quick, quick, quick breakfast. I wanna recap yesterday and also just kinda like, we're gonna do a bacon, egg, and cheese bowl. Basically, yesterday, so you guys know I went to, we had girls' day, so we went to, um, yesterday we went to, gotta make sure you never know, you never know. Yesterday we went to, what the hell did we do? We had brunch at this like really small little local place. It was nothing crazy, it was just regular, regular breakfast food. Honestly, not to be that girl, I feel like my breakfast food tastes better than that. Like it wasn't worth the money. But, 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 but. And then after that, I went to the movies. We watched Mama Mafia or Mafia Mama. What the hell? What the hell was that? Um, also, I put ground black pepper on my bacon. I really suggest y'all do it. Like it really gives it the smoky. Know, something scientific happened. And yes, I bake my bacon because it's just quicker, less mess, less like grease, dirty in all of the damn kitchen. Like, you know what I mean? But I got my everything bagel. I'm gonna make a cream cheese spread. So I like to eat at Bagel's Bagels, but it's really f***ing far away. And they have a sriracha cream cheese with today. I was gonna do that, but I was like, um, I want something different. I love avocado, especially in the morning. So I'm gonna make an avocado cream cheese spread and see what happens with that. But just to recap, so we went to movies, right? And then we saw the movie, and it was so fing funny. It was like kind of like cringy acting. It, and you could tell it was like a lot of newer actors casted. So it is what it is. I also got my little pineapple juice for the day. Just a little treat. Just a little treat. Listen, but we got our avocado. So, long story short, what happened yesterday? Well, oh, and then sorry, at night, I ended up having therapy. And we really talked about what the hell was going on. And turns out, what do you know? Um, And I might be a little like, you know what? I'll, I don't know. Ugh, should I just talk about it? Let's just say a family member has picked up a very bad habit. And I'm just I'm mushing the avocado and cream cheese together. Um, I didn't. So what I thought that I did was I thought that I took the time to, you know, when like something you hear about something like bad news and you're just like, well, it is what it is. That's just how people are, how that person is. Like you just kind of move on and accept it. Turns out, I didn't give myself time to grieve my new reality of that situation and what they're choosing to do. Not only affects them long term, but it also affects the family, you know. Um, I'm just not ready to talk about it yet. So, because it's not, it's their issue to tackle and I really never really know who's watching. I know my siblings do here and there, so. It would be nice and dandy to come online and talk about your issues and whatever, but there's other people it affects as well, and that's just not fair. Also, y'all, let's try this, hold on. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. I'm about to get myself. Y'all, did y'all see that I just did that dumb I haven't washed my hands. And I touched that bacon, and I just sucked the fuck out of a card out of my finger. Well, we'll see by the end of the day if I didn't just ruin my freaking day again. But this is good. Let me bring you out with me. Um, basically, I thought 
I healed from the situation. Like, I accepted that that's my new reality and this person's a lost cause. But, let's do Edward. Not the butter. I accepted the fate of it and I didn't even give myself time to be sad about it. Like, I was like, oh, well, that's just what that person does. Moving on. And it's like, girl. Sorry, this angle is a bit of it. I didn't, you know, and this person, I just feel like it's like they've. <sighs> it's it's like you know when somebody does something and it doesn't surprise you it's kind of like oh okay well mm. I lost all hope with that with that being said all in all I have some healing to left to do and y'all know how that goes just back to the drawing board just gotta manifest journal maybe do shadow work on it try to help this person as much as I can which it's gonna be a freaking hassle but so that's what it was um I basically did not I thought I healed from something that was very heavy for me and I didn't the week is so short <laughs> it's literally Thursday like uh, the week is so thing and I'm in much better spirits today and really talking about it helped me realize because it was really pouring into other parts of my life too and that's why I was being so like angry about everything and I haven't edited this it edited this yet but I'm sure when I look back on like damn why was I so mad but with that being said today is a better day this angle is probably horrendous we need to leave the house by 9 55 it's 9 36 oh that big kid is getting ready um what did I say Today, we're doing the eyelash lifts. We're doing the eyelash lift. I have to drive an hour out. Um, the latest I can leave is 10 a.m., but I want to leave at 9.55 to be more than early. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be more than early, more than prepared. But I got no makeup on. I'm showered. I got to just change my outfit. Just got to put a hoodie on. And... Um, <clears throat> oh, to close the chapter on that situation, I'm just going to keep going to my therapist, keep journaling, like I said, and keep just processing the feeling of that all. Like, it's not easy to deal with. And it is what it is. I don't know if I'll keep y'all updated because it's, like, pretty personal. But it's, like, I don't know. But anyway. Okay, not the egg sizzling. Chill. Let me show y'all this bacon. Oh, sh**. Okay, that's just about to burn. I gotta find where the hell to put it. Come on now. Alright, well, actually, I'm gonna just fold it into the damn egg. Can my camera stop? Okay, here's our egg. There's our bacon. Let me turn it around a bit. I'm gonna just put it in the egg because I don't have the time. Yeah, so we gotta, what is that? Oh, we have to drive an hour to do this. And it's with the girl that I went to high school with. With that being said, and it's gonna be our first time, quote unquote, quote unquote, here you go. She got in the law address. We had to drive Tony's truck. Tony be trying me, I swear to God. Let me let y'all go, but that's what we're doing today. We're gonna do eyelash lifts. Here's the lashes now. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all later. I look like somebody mother. I'm scraping. Wait. All right, we're three minutes away. Five minutes late, which I'm really annoyed about because Waze told me leave the house at this time, and I did. But we're away, and she said it's fine, and I'm nervous, and bye. <laughs> I, I think I'm on the wrong side. But I can't do? Yes. No, you're on the right side. 
Okay. <laughs> Are you her mom? No. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Do you want anything to drink? Water or anything? Oh, no, I got Thank you. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I saw your little. I was like, okay, she's over here modeling. Okay. Let me just go. Okay. All right. Okay. And then I put like these solutions on like unconscious for a little. It's basically like a perm on your hair but on your lashes. That's what I purchased to say. Okay. Yeah, it smells like a perm. It's, it's gonna perm. smell like Yeah, literally. Yeah. And I can't open my eyes or anything. No, but it's like <laughs> five to eight minutes that I leave the first step on, five minutes for the second step. Okay. Ten minutes for the tint. If you wanna like if you're like okay, I wanna leave my eyes so far, you can skip that. you can skip the tint because you already have really dark lashes, but you can do a little yeah. All right. I think I like it. I look good. Alright. Lay down face up, get comfy. Okay. Bad bitches, bad bitches, bad bitches, can't see we like what? Like what? Bad bitches, bad bitches, bad bitches, bad bitches, can't see we Hi guys, wait, I wanna show y'all more up close. I don't know if you can see it. I love it. I love her. She's so sweet. I'm gonna tag her right here. Her. I love mascara who? Nami? Mascara who? Nami? Um, I'm pulled over on the side of the road, y'all. Tony is gonna cuss me out. I broke his drink holder, guys. He has his drink holder that's like a two-in-one so you can put two drinks in it i put my atrocious hydra peak because i'm tired of with this brand hydra peak i know you ain't watching this but contra days like third time buying this bottle i barely dropped this bottle and when i do if it lands on this this is broken it's supposed to be a little handle so i can lift up my damn drink this has fallen twice in its lifetime I replaced the entire bottle because I said, you know what? I fuck with the brand. I fuck with the mission. I dropped this one and it broke instantly. And I'm I'm genuinely so tired of it. So sorry about it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm done. I would show y'all the lashes right now, but I just need to put the shades on. To keep. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to Sophia. That was so sweet. We got something more plant in store she's letting me know because y'all know i have my business and they have a nail salon that they closed and i said wait tell me more but guys yes yeah, so i broke tony's drink holder and i do deserve to get cussed out but you know what? it's all of this stupid fault because i'm guys i'm on the highway about to get on the highway i turn the whole hydro peak falls down to the floor I'm driving a big body Benz. It's not a Benz. It's a Chevrolet. Chevy. Whatever. The Hydro Peak's so f***ing heavy that it falls. Okay, my fault. I thought, because Tony got a big ass Yeti too, so I thought, you know, it's fine. Clearly, it wasn't. The whole thing snaps off. This fall, and I had a Red Bull there too. The Red Bull falls over. It's all over the f***ing floor. My hands are sticky. And the ride home is an hour long. So, I'm going to need to get to it, step to it. But I just wanted to <clears throat> check in with y'all and show you the lashes. Again, um, she does offer these services. And she was just, you know, she's just trying to strengthen up her craft. So, I said, girl, whatever, practice on me. Practice on me. And this is my first time getting eyelash lift. And I think I will be continuing. I will be continuing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know how much it costs. But was it worth the hour drive? Yes. Yes, it was. And, you know, she's sweet, <clears throat> great conversation, but now it's time to go home because 
after a while, I can't drive long distance too long. Okay, I brought this from home, and it's not really that good anyway. But let's drive home. I, I told you, I'm still a little shy about the vlogging. So I got a little bit of, there in, of it in there. It was really hard to fill myself with my eyes closed. So there's that. But she's going to have a post it before and after picture, I think. So whenever she posts it, I'll put it, I'll insert it here. Hopefully I have it by now. If I don't, whatever, it's fine. No biggie. I need to get home. Still need to switch out that wardrobe. I need to get home, eat some lunch, and prepare family dinner. But other than the hot mess that just happened in this car, um, and this is my last day using this too, because, listen, I told y'all, there's a new car in the home so tony is on father duty getting that registered and plates and all that and you know doing what grown men do so he said okay girl take my damn truck and i said so here we are but so far nothing bad has happened and i'm hoping to get home safely yo that was so embarrassing like, nobody's seen, but still, the fact that the drink felt like that, like, I had to, like, I'm, I don't even know where I am right now. Like, I'm in somebody, like, an apartment complex parking lot, and it says 15 minute max, but it's like, girl. But we did this. This is at Spla, Spa Lenza or Spa Lenza in Danvers, Mass. Very sweet. Great woman there. They're very sweet. They treated me so nice. And as you can see, the ambience is beautiful. For me, it's an hour drive, and I think it's worth it. If I go maybe once a month, I think it's worth it. And she said that the eyelash lift is supposed to last four to six weeks. So that's basically one, two, three, four, five, six. That's like a month and a half. Fine by me, girl. Period. And even more, I'd be like, girl, pump it up. Curl them. Curl them so curled up, it's touching my eyelid. I ain't scared. Oh, and she did a tint, too. So, it's really giving mascara, and I'm so excited. But she said for 24 hours, don't do nothing, basically. And period, I won't, I won't, I won't. I also realized after that, I was like, I don't think I'd ever do eyelash extensions. Like, no shade to her. Because that's just how you have to do it. But the all the shit on my eyes. Now, imagine eyelash extensions where, when she was done, like, she's just, like, putting liquids on my eyelashes. But eyelash extensions where it's like literal hair going on your eyes, like I think I'd actually drive home like this. Like Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is gonna be a quick check-in. It's Friday. Clearly, I'm in better spirits than I was in the beginning of this vlog this week. Hello. I'm trying to get this to stand up. Um the mess in the background is messed up. Like for a for all, right now it is 10.24. We need to leave the house at 11.10 latest. It's brunch with Gianna today with my friend. And like I told y'all, she's a childhood friend. We haven't seen each other in years after school. You know what I mean? So I was just cleaning the room a little bit. Today I'm skipping gym, period. And I skipped it yesterday. Because I need a f***ing break. And I need to recenter my mind. And yeah, so... Um, I want to write down some different goals, kind of like align myself with that and see what I can do, what I can make, pop, jump, whatever. So, uh, with that being said, yesterday, how did yesterday go? You know what? I realize, guys, I'm like scared because I'm getting at that age where I'm forgetting things. Now, my memory is, has always been really good, but lately I think it's, it's, my aging is happening. So, ugh, what did I do? Oh yeah, the lash lift, we talked about that. Oh yeah, y'all saw me and I was going home. Well, the room is looking crazy because yesterday, my boyfriend was like, help me take passport picture. I was like, period. My SD card reader thing. I don't know where the hell it is. We tore this room up, trying to find it. I don't know where it is. So today, I'm like, I'm just going to clean the room spotless because it's Friday too for the weekend just to chill. And I know I'll find it because I just need to be cleaning it's hard to find something when there's so much shit around, you know what I mean? So that is the goal for later on today. But this morning, um, we're going to go to Yaz's table to the same place that we went to for girls' day. Um, I don't know if I'm breaking the camera. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. But I was cleaning, and I realized that two, about two days ago, remember when we went to Target? There was, like, random clips on girls' day. I didn't even show you what I bought, and I've literally... I'm 
the bag chilling in the room like girl girl like yes that's how it she is looking and yesterday i don't know if you guys seen it before but i had this my boyfriend gave me this bracelet but it used to be it was a thinner one right and y'all you'd think i'm like a rough ass bitch like fighting and all types of shit like the other one broke twice and we paid good money for it and what it is is like it was just so delicate the rope it was so thin that like any like accidental tug with with enough force like would just rip it off and me and my boyfriend are childish and we like to play fight listen he likes the ufc i don't like to lose even though i lose every time but you know it's all safe all, all safe and innocent but i can't stand losing but anyways i do lose anyways but um yeah so what you'd like It'd be so dumb, like, you grab, so, like, the wrist, and, like, you're gonna pretend that, you know, when it throw me over, like, a literal UFC fight, but, like, you know, and it'll be, like, stop, and then my bracelet could get, like, stuck on a blanket, and I'll just go like this, boom, broken, and I'll be like, okay, and I think something like that happened twice, so, we decided to go again, and pay a little more extra for the thicker one annoying and thank you shout out to him for even helping pay for that because it's like he already bought the gift like you know what i mean so it's kind of cute because he has his own rope chain and then i have a rope bracelet i don't care how a bracelet looks really i'm not i'm not picky with a bracelet i don't know how i feel about these two together like if i should wear them together um or if i should just go back to my I should do a black outline and then a, the pink band or what i don't know so it's cute i love it and you know i, I always wear my little gold ring and i like gold so i wanted to do a target haul <laughs> before i um put this bag away but listen every time you shop at target you need to do a haul because it's so expensive might as well show what you got okay all right so um i want to do that and then i want to show you guys this cool little project i'm working on um okay so i always get the avocado cucumber one today matter of fact why don't i just open one um i don't see how this smells but i don't guys I have, this is so weird i've been using the same um deodorant same brand same flavoring smell for like four years and i feel like my body is rejecting it it's like it doesn't even like i'll rub it on my body and the smell will go away i i don't know how to explain the phenomenon but there's that. Oh, and then I bought Tony a new cup holder because I felt bad. Guys, I called him and he was like, He said, How did you do that? I was like, Listen. <sighs> Such bad luck. Like, knock on wood. All right. So, this just taking forever, guys. Like, seriously, come on. Ugh. All right. It smells way far. Just too light. I hope it, I hope it does something for me because the other one smells now that I've wasted your time. Um so I got that and I was running out of razors. Ladies, somebody a long time ago told me to always buy male razors because they cut better. I tested that theory and unfortunately they were right. I always get the one with the most blades and at the time there was um triple so i hear there's up to five blades but anyways i always buy the mega bag and i don't really stress myself out over blades and stuff like you know what i mean so i have this little like case that i just put all my razors into and i always refill it when it gets low so it was refill time and for a while i bought this like you know the one where you like chuck off the top and then refill the top every time i had that but i can't find the brand anymore so i think that's gonna have to just be retired um <clears throat> the best cough drops out there okay and i ran out literally ran out i hate how let's let's try this one. i could use a little cough drop it's okay do you guys know you're not supposed to eat like a bunch of these at once like in a day oh mm. that's just strong mm -hmm, mm -hmm. boom 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 c4 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 so I'll show you all. So this is my current pre-workout. Just to leave it to y'all. See how much we got left. Hello. Ooh. And I'm just trying to like, because you don't want the powder to get everywhere because then everything will be sticky. I know people may feel a way about this brand. 
um i feel like it did it for me but for a while i would do half of one two because it was too much the other day like for a while like two weeks nothing was i wasn't feeling anything um but you know i was also down so i don't know <laughs> the emotions were that strong that i didn't feel the pre-workout but um <laughs> it's in cough drop um I'm basically done. And the other day I tried to do two scoops and I was like, ooh. I, was like, I think if I'm doing two scoops or something, my body is weaned off. Like, I've got adjusted. How much caffeine does it have? Hold on. Hold on, guys. Two hundred fifteen milligrams. Caffeine. I don't know. I don't know. My boyfriend researched, and he said this is the best. So, but not today. So this one specifically is the Ripped Super Sport. There was just a Super Sport pre workout, but this one is the Ripped one, and I grabbed it because it said fat burning, and the other ones didn't. Um, but this is energy supports hydration and fat burning. Um, and I love how they say thirty servings. Like no. I've had more servings than that for the because that's how little I'm eating. I'm drinking of it, right? But um, yeah, I it's fruit punch. Oh, what can go wrong with fruit punch? I have not tried this yet. I'm excited to. I will not lie to you. I'm in, I am excited to try it. But let's give it a small can. My first impressions. Okay, I love that. Um. The texture is really different, which is interesting. Ooh. It tastes gross, but I also just have a cough drop in my mouth, so I don't know what I thought I was doing with that. The scoop looks a little bigger, so I'm going to definitely do half of this to start when I go back. I'm debating, y'all remember? I don't know if I told y'all. I think I want to start doing gym on weekends, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But here's my mini project I was working on, right? These weren't given to me with this like this but basically we were doing a deep cleaning in the house and my i was just like casually talking i said oh like do you like beats because i didn't know my boyfriend had any i said do you like beats like what do you think about them because i always wanted them but then i always uh, people my dislike with them is like you can hear what the person's listening to not that we're all listening to bad music but it's like i love a good headphone where you people can't hear what you're listening to you know what i mean so um i was just talking about beats with him and he was like oh i have beats actually i was just gonna throw these away do you want them and i was like do they work like those give me something i don't wear he said that they do so they were giving to me like this but i took it off because i hate them. No, i'm just kidding i took them off i took this off and um because there's been a trend on tiktok about like touching up your airpod good tony better not leave with the There's a trend of like taking off this because these are really dingy. Look at them. Used. Very well loved, right? Okay. So, this is this side. So, as you can see, this is just oil and buildup. These are years old. This is like first beats ever made, okay? So, I was like, I'm going to restore these. They work. I'm going to restore them and make them look cute and brand new so like you said like i showed y'all like yellow dingy you know he had these when he was young so it's fine you know well loved so <clears throat> people are saying like you get the replacement and just click it on so for this one it was hard to find it but i found it i found the little ear cushions so i just practiced with this one took i took it off and y'all look at the difference look at the difference ready yes yes and i test clicked it it clicks in y'all Ooh, i'm gonna eat this up this is the project i'm working on oh let me show you this is how white i got it y'all look i don't know if y'all can see it versus this with just um out rubbing alcohol and a wipe yes okay and i'm so excited 
I haven't finished it because I just want to show you guys and my boyfriend. But I showed him. He's like, wow, like that's that's really good. So, um, uh, my plan is to take this off, wipe this side down too, and then put the white earmuffs at the end. Because I, if I put them on early, like, and I'm wiping, you know what I mean? So, so I'm so excited. I'm about to be at the gym like. Her, I mean, I was so cute with these on. Oh, so cute with these oh girl let me shut up all right let's finish getting ready because it's 10 40 and i need to leave at 10 um 11 10 so just wanted to show y'all that just wanted to check in just want to do a little unboxing unbagging i'm so excited i can't wait i can't wait i can't wait i don't know if i'll record it for y'all because this isn't as i don't think this is as hd as my other lumix my Lumix camera but that's fine but for now let's get ready for the day and keep cleaning up hallelujah Tony left in that truck in God because I was like Tony I can't drive that thing but yeah let's get ready and keep cleaning and then I will if I don't show y'all anything about in there I don't know we'll talk we'll talk Gianna don't know how to do YouTube so we gotta talk we gotta catch up we gotta hey guys Ooh. 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 jeez Excuse me. So brunch is done with Jayana. Brunch was so great. You guys know I've talked about Yaz's table. I don't know if I've ever told y'all how many times I've been there. I've been there like four times at this point. Very cute, small, local place. And I, this is why paying, paying attention to detail really is sweet. You know, it makes people feel special. In the front of her restaurant, oh, in the front of her restaurant, there's a magazine or newspaper. Um, and it's a photo of her and I think a sibling of hers or family member. And this lady comes up to us today while we're eating food. And this lady hasn't come up to us before. Like, you can tell she's not a server. She's dressed in, like, you know, a different outfit. She comes up to us. She's like, how's everything? Trying to check in with us. And I said, are you the owner of the, like, you know, yes table? And she was like, yes. And period. I was like, I bring everybody here. Like, you know, you're so sweet. But I'm almost home. She was so sweet. God, I got, like, the allergies. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, Gianna was so cute. I told her all about the social media and consecration. She was like, it, it's really sweet to me when people I grew up with, they're like, oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense that you would like that. And they always like give me props like, oh, you know, people would love to watch you. You're funny or this, you're that. And it really just makes me smile hearing that people believe in it and think that I'm a great candidate for consecration. But not only that, it reminds me that I've treated stayed true to myself and people i love when people are like you're just the same as when you were younger like not in a bad way but like you're still your goofy self positive kind self and um today just went really well you guys like i'm really happy and we're really about to be home now but i'm just gonna go home and clean this damn room i need to find my sd card so i can actually edit too because i can't just keep filming and not you know Mm -hmm. My hair didn't look like this when I left the house. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna hold this here and we're gonna have a quick check in. So, ignore my hair. Um, it's 6 53 a.m. period. And we're in the gym parking lot, period. Having our pre workout snack. What is this? Bubbles peanut butter chocolate chip oat bar. I think this is from Trader Joe's. Yeah, half a bar. Perfect, perfect. That's all I had. Um, one serving is half of a bar. Yeah. Sorry for this angle. Um, besides people being fake as f No complaints so far for my Monday, Sunday, and Saturday. <coughs> Went well. So you know I got my weekly. Um... So 7 a.m. gym, so 6.54, so we got five minutes to catch up because I'm trying to be on schedule. 7 a.m. gym, and then at 9 a.m., we're going to try to sneak. I've said this before. My partner and I, we share each other's location for safety reasons. Um, So I don't have... I'm not saying he's going to check. I'm just like, oh, my God, what if this is the one time where he's like, I'm going to check. Where is she? What's she up to? And he sees me. So I'm going to that the place, remember, to set up the surprise for him for his birthday. And we only go there together. Like, I've never gone there without him and, you know. 
so so i'm crossing my fingers i'm gonna go right when they open and also while i know he's driving for work which is like if you're driving for work why are you looking at my location so i'm gonna go right when they open because y'all i emailed them and the owner was being so fucking stupid i don't i don't want to say it it's like you ever are give a detailed email to somebody and they just act so i called they said okay email this person okay I emailed the person the person said, okay you can call i told you in the email that somebody told me to email you because i already found called and then i said my first and last name but they addressed me first and last name and i'm a member of your facility like you can't even give me the fucking decency of respect like said hey my name is so and so i'm a member at your facility this is what i'm trying to do this is what we got and he's the owner he's lucky that we like the instructors in there because he got on my nerves at that point anyways so i have to go in person today i'm gonna try to be nice and polite the real me wants to go in there and be like oh here's my phone here's the email i sent print it i'll be like hey i emailed y'all about this can y'all help me set this shit up because it's like i'm sorry i'm showing my my ass today. anyways <clears throat> i need to text my therapist just to some upcoming dates you know put on my calendar that is pissing me off but i'm just trying to be calm about it the situation i have another therapist that's leaving we'll talk i want to talk in detail about it honestly i think for the vlog because i didn't realize how often this happens and no i'm not like a bad person that therapists keep throwing me around i will explain later on if not today later in the week okay i need to try on uh, i have a family photo shoot so she has chosen the color gray for this shoot and girl being plus size it's really hard to find clothes and then in gray girl what is we doing so I'm hoping that the dress fits on. I gotta scan this photo. I have to FaceTime my sister later because we got some upcoming dates I gotta put in the calendar. And I'm hoping to edit today in journal. And oh, that's what I forgot. I, I used to read at the gym, like on the treadmill. Like if I'm walking at a good pace, I could read. Let me drink my damn pre-workout the fuck. Like, but yeah. I was supposed to bring my book because I did stop reading for a while. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. And then I'm trying out the C4 today. Wish me luck, wish me luck. I only did half, half. And here is, okay. So I'm gonna put the list away for now because we, I got some details in here. I, you guys know I usually either tell you all in one day what I'm doing for the whole week or I'll just tell you by day. Maybe I'll do by day this week, but for now. Um, C4. <laughs> I don't know if I told y'all, I lost my SD card. I don't, I think somebody stole it. <laughs> my boyfriend's like, girl, you always say somebody steals something from me, you know. So I can't find that shit. So I bought a new one. And then guess what? My selfie light's gone too. Mm. Oh, interesting. This C4 ain't no joke. This C4 ain't no joke. I took one sip and the outer of my lip is itchy. I made it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I know this vlogs ago, but that I have edited. <laughs> Honestly, y'all, I need a damn nap after what I just experienced. So, gym was fun, very fun, very good workout. C4 worked, period. Y'all saw I was in a good mood. I realized my it's coming up, but still, it's no excuse. Like, I'm tired of the mood swing. With that being said, so I got home. And I made my breakfast, and that took longer than usual because the oven was axing up. I was like, okay. So I couldn't leave. I couldn't arrive to the place like 9 a.m. Like I wanted to. I arrived at 10 a.m. And y'all know nerves is on high because I'm trying to be discreet and like secret mission. <sighs> I told you they were gonna be on some bullshit, and they was. And then my luck was just made things worse. So, on the way there, first of all, the drive is 40 minutes max. On the ride there, um, the ride there, I was already like, I'm bored. First of all, I said, okay, I'm running late, so I'm not going to shower after the gym. I'm just going to go. So, when I come home, I shower and start my computer work. You know what I'm saying? Sit the hell down once I'm in one place for the whole day. So, shower was skipped, which I'm like, ugh, whatever. And I'm going home. First of all, y'all remember that good job that I might have gotten a chance with? They emailed me saying that the position may be filled, aggravated me. I was like, ugh, annoying, of course. 
and then this other place responded and they're paying extremely low for what they're asking and I get it sometimes people it's hard because I don't know this isn't a corporation like this is like a small business so I get you can't pay me that much but damn part time no benefits and that's how low you're paying me for all the shit you're asking me to do and it's basically on call too so what are we really doing like anyways that starts to aggravate me too the bacon not cooking right started to aggravate me too <laughs> skipping the shower aggravated me <laughs> being like behind my schedule aggravated me so I have been trying to do damage control and just be like relax it's still early like it's okay hold on let me get ready to take this damn exit so I do my ride and I told John I told one of his cousins like who's in on it so I can like get some help on the side I'm like, wish me luck. It's time to go. I go. I can tell this is the same guy I talked to on the phone. He's like, I go there. I tell him the same thing. He's like, oh, yeah, just send an email. I said, no. I'm sorry. Like, no. Like, I was like, yeah, I know. You told me this. And I did. And he said to call. So that's why I'm just here in person. And, like, we were, I didn't talk like that. Like, we were nice to each other. But I was just so annoyed because it's like, dude, you know what I mean? Like, imagine you call somewhere. They're like, okay, just email this person to get that done. You email the person. Their reply is stupid as hell. And they tell you to call again. So, when and then you go in person instead to really get shit done. And then they say to you, oh, just email. No, 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 no. I'm not doing this with y'all. I'm not doing this with y'all for real. Like my god like sorry I'm so annoyed um okay and then that wasn't the worst part so okay we have the agreement oh okay so you trying like basically he's like okay so you that you've been doing a little back and forth I'm like yeah <laughs> no so I'm like he's like how many people is it anyway I'm like three people like it's really not that big of a party please like let's keep it simple he said, oh, it's just three people. Okay, I can do it. For At first, he said, okay, call on Wednesday, which I was like, okay, so now I got to come another time on Wednesday at 1 p.m. the middle of the damn day. Like, ugh, because that's when the manager is in, the owner. Like, why are you waiting on a Wednesday at 1 p.m.? Why aren't you in office Monday through Friday, 8 a.m.? Let me relax. <laughs> so I was like, what the? F I was like, oh, okay, Wednesday, fine. Then he said, oh, it's three people. Okay, I can do it. I can do it for you. Girl. He's typing. He getting ready. He got a phone call. On the phone call for 15 minutes. I'm like, oh my god. Like, I'm trying to leave me in and out. Like, please. Okay, mind you. Ugh. So, he's done on the phone. He's like, yeah. Like, I was just trying to talk to this person too. And the service is not working. The Wi-Fi is down. Our tech is down. So, um, I can't help you, unfortunately. And in my head, I'm like what what he's like yeah the it guy is coming in after um 1 p.m cool. just call us back at 1 p.m i'm like so in my head i'm like okay so i drove all the way over here for no fucking reason period so i told his cousin i'm like at this point like he about to just get a birthday dinner because why is it so business or not that's my problem with businesses nowadays do y'all want business or not because y'all just be doing these runarounds and circles with people i'm a paying customer and what pisses me off is that i'm a member i have a membership with your place and you can even um address me by my first name um hello oh i'm so sorry y'all i thought my makeup looked better than this oh hey y'all it's wednesday and I'm in a parking lot. We're about to go to the gym. And I am anxious today. My anxiety is on 500 today. So, it's Wednesday. I didn't check in with y'all yesterday. Um, and I need my shades. Like, I'm getting a headache because of the sun. But yesterday, I don't think we really checked in at all. Um, sorry if I'm low energy right now. I'm, like, using the last bit of my energy to vlog. And then also, first of all, sir... Y'all, I'm so f***ing embarrassed. Like, that just drew, drove in front of me. Let me show you the empty parking lot. 
dude. Of all the places you could have, hold on. Of all the, look behind me. Be for real. Okay, so this morning, um, I started my day really late because I had my, I had an interview. And I'm very excited because it sounds promising. And this is a job where I could really stack up my bread and move my f***ing life. Hey guys. I'm the worst. I'm the worst. I know right now, um, from that last clip you saw, things really hit the fan. <laughs> but let's just say life is life -ing. It's the end of April and... I thought my camera was cracked I was like no April was really hard I'm not gonna lie it's Friday today and honestly from that last clip you saw me which was Wednesday I think no it's yesterday I think I'm not sure um, I was in a really low place and I'm still like kind of feeling better um, we could always blame it on the retrograde but the end of the day life is life and sometimes we have to just deal with it you see scratches right here pookie went to the vet F me up um i was looking forward to vlogging this week i don't know if y'all can let me shut this off i don't know where the remote is so i'm gonna try to talk louder than my tv just for time reference um jerry springer died yesterday so this is how far behind i am on footage i haven't posted a youtube video in three weeks and I'm really upset about it because I was on a good wave, a good path. Um, let me put the TV down because that's very annoying. Can't even hear myself think. <laughs> Some good things that have that happened this week. So today, we are going to be linking up with my brother and sister. And um, more specifically, my sister. She's really into the YouTube stuff and the camera. So I can't wait to show her this little gadget we have here. Um... And I love seeing my brother too. He's just a breath of fresh air. Like he's just so unique and different and I love being around him. Like he's just Aquarius. <laughs> you know there you go. If you know you know, Aquarius. I did want to vlog today because I don't know if I'll vlog that, but more so I was like I need to check in and am I gonna post this video? I don't know. But I'm so behind and my heart is like keep filming, keep editing, keep trying. But it's so hard, especially when things are so low. Like, I had therapy, and I'm really, what really sucked this week, I think, was, like, I feel like I underwent friendship betrayal, like a friend breakup. And the way that I'm a really deep friend lover, um, the way I'm just a deep lover, like a deep friend, um, I just felt so betrayed by what somebody did and it really got to me because I don't throw the term loosely friendship, sister, bestie, older sister, younger sister. I don't play when it comes to that. And when you see Flurry's like Pookie's hair is all over the place. Um, and then when we went to Pookie's vet too, it was like they made it evident that she's old and I hate animals dying, I hate pets dying. And Pookie definitely has reached a place in my heart where I didn't even have to raise her as a kitten to love her. Like, I love her. I think me and her have a special bond that I don't have with, she doesn't have with other people. Like, what she has with her dad is different. What she has with me is different as well. Um, so, you know, that it's just evident. She's old. Um, she doesn't act old. But they, you know, as pets get older, health issues arise and um basically life takes its cycle and it's really hard for it's not something i take lightly um and you can't forget this is a cat that my boyfriend raised for 10 plus years so i'm sure you know when you love somebody you feel that that pain that they might be feeling um or lack thereof because they're just trying to deal with this new part of their life which is the reality that something they that means so much to them might not be there and means so much to me too um and i think at our core we are pet lovers so it is a hard part of life to deal with that being said i know i mentioned to y'all that i wanted to kind of um increase my adhd medicine i don't know if i talked to you about that 
but it comes it's not a, a place of like abuse or like um how would you say needing needing it to function but there are other it's not just something you take to focus it's a mood stabilizer it does a lot of other things that people don't talk about so some people can skip days some people can whatever and i've gone through through trial and error when it comes to this medication and this like really adhd journey and what they do is they start you on a basic dose a standard dose and it could be hell for you or it could work perfectly fine for me it was hell so i was actually for a few years on the lowest dose that you could have of it so i always fear talking about this with other people because i feel like people think of medication as codependency and masking of an issue i believe the reality is with adhd it's something that you have to deal with forever I don't know if it, I'm supposed to take the medicine until I'm like 80. Like that's something I have to clarify with my doctors. You know, I'm the first in my family to be medicated for this. So I don't know what that looks like. But can I be do fine without it for a few days? Yes, I can. But however, it's like what sense does it make to take a medication every day if it's... That's just how the body is. After a while, it stops working and then you have to get stronger um, dosages of that. Or what other people do, which they're not supposed to, but what other people... Y'all, I have no idea where the f the rest of this clip went. <laughs> um, but I think what I was trying to get at was that what people, sh what other people do that they shouldn't is sometimes they will purposely skip a lot of medication days to have kind of rack up on extra. So by the time your new prescription comes, um, you have backup or whatever. Um don't do that of course but i think all in all what i was trying to do was one educate y'all on adhd medication etc um and really encouraging you to be smart about it but also that the body adjusts to your um dosages of any medicine and after a while you either like people do is take breaks um if it's not a medication they have to quote unquote take every day or they um up the dosage so i was just kind of giving you some insight into that part of life of an aspect or whatever if i'm wording that right at all but yeah sorry i don't even know where the rest of this clip was or what i was talking about <clears throat> before the next clip so bear with me y'all but yeah healthy work environment it seems like you know and then after guys the p love love of love um after a few months, I could just work at home. I could start when I want and when I want, as long as I meet the quotas, the the goals. The I love that. So Duncan has these new energy punches. Um, it sucks because it's mixed with Monster, and I hate Monster. Don't really care for Monster, but this is a different one, I think. Um, but they have three flavors. And energy drinks, I would drink it. I can't drink it all in one setting, so it takes me hours to drink. That's gonna last me all day. Um, and that's why I'm chatting, make chat pants. I think I told you I wanted to also talk to you about therapy and that book. All love, but I don't know how much longer I'm gonna stay with my therapy practice because this is the first time I've experienced this, but I've been highly loyal to them for about three years and there is no reason i learned i learned that there is no reason for me to have been transferred four times to a new therapist and i love therapy it's like almost nothing could make me care about like, nothing can make me deter, deter. Nothing can make me not want to do therapy except for what they did. And I have a friend, let's just say, she's in the field. And she was like, um, patient advocacy, on um, some patient advocacy shit, they should not be doing that to you. And it's not a, like, oh, they're jumping you around because you're a difficult client or because of your caseload. No, there's no clear communication. So they're giving me interns, which I don't mind students. I don't mind interns. Like, we all got to start somewhere, and they're all doing good jobs. My first therapist quit. I see why now, maybe. I don't, not to be JD, but she quit. 
the next therapist that they gave me I said I want one for a while like I don't like how that felt don't worry girl we got you okay intern less than a year with her I was like what the fuck and then what else the first one I had she was the practice owner and she said hey I want to just take on a more admin role okay fine I respect the hustle period i don't even know if i ever talked about it on here like maybe you can go back to my old videos and see me mention it but it was just like you know and the other extra one that i'm leaving out was i just had a therapist that you could tell she was just like i work at home i'm bored i don't give a fuck about this job i would speak to her she would not be listening like i'm talking and she'd go mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not looking at me looking at her fucking tv i could see the glare on her face she'd be like mm-hmm mm -hmm. uh, and it's like mm -hmm. and I'm like bitch I'm not done talking all right and I'll finish talking she'll be like mm -hmm. okay so like when I was looking at your file I actually saw that you like changing the whole subject the fuck like you know like she was ho she's horrible yeah so once again I'm gonna have no therapist and I'm in a place where I'm like, do I even want to go to therapy anymore? But I really do need it. But this place is really aggravating me. It really is. It really is. Like, it really is. And they keep trying me. And I feel like it's a thing of like, oh, this is an OG member of our practice. So, like, they're very understanding. Just give them whoever. And it's like, y'all are about to fucking hear from me if you keep it up. How are you the practice owner? And I told you, I came to you directly and I said, that last girl you gave me, she was just like not working. Oh my God, I'm sorry. No, that's not okay. I will make sure to get you with someone who is your style um, and who will be with you for a while. Bitch, when I said a while, I meant that. I didn't mean one year. I'm not... If I'm going to have to do a therapist every year, I don't want it. That's not what therapy is about. But I was just like, I'm mad about it. Because it's like, I'm not doing this once a year shit. Like, if I left a review right now, my friend was like, you better, um, we got to go to the Better Business Bureau. We got to, we got to, um, go to the state with this. And I was like, shut up, bro. Like, but it is annoying. It's like, wait, like, what the fuck? You know, with that being said. And then in August, I, it's like my deadline for finding a job. Like, um, and then it's also when I start a uh, vacation again. So fingers crossed that I get that job. But here we go. So I went ahead. Okay, these work. So I went ahead and I got this locket. Now I know you're like, girl, what the fuck? So I have a journal with a locket on it. I'm not hiding nothing from anyone but privacy. They didn't, they didn't sell one at a time, so I had to buy a pack of three. These are pretty big. I would show you my journal and do it, but then now you know where my journal is, so no. And then I would show you my camera, but I have it in front of me. But I got, um, which I also think was necessary, I got some camera protectors. Maybe I'll put a photo on the screen of like what it is. So, I will see y'all, or y'all will see the kiddos, bang. Hey, you straight? Oh, not Sophia eating. She said, I'm doing it. Hey you guys, so it's me, current cam, current time. If you have noticed, and I've been saying it this whole time, but the vlogs have been, I'm filming this right now in really October, September, um, and I've been posting vlogs since all the way from, well, February-ish. Like, I have had a lot of vlog footage that I've been sitting on, um, and I wanted to kind of put this little clip in here because um, this is actually around the time where I stopped vlogging and I realized that I had accumulated a lot of footage that I should, you know, sit down, edit, and, you know, get to working on. So I just kind of want to explain what ends up happening from literally, what was it? Let me see. Yeah, it's like the end of April and then I just stopped. 
me for the reasons that I told you. So, um, May, June, and July, and then current time, August is when I start to pick up the camera again, which you'll see those videos in the future. But um, at the end of this, I'm gonna input a little clip where I did hang out with my sister in June, and it was like a cute moment. We we vlogged a little bit, but basically what happened in May, June, and July was you saw I've been very transparent about my employment situation. When you graduate from college, your degree is really not easy to be used, and you saw me have really hard days, really rough times, and really those vlogs you've been seeing have been me navigating through being unemployed, dealing with um depression like heavy heavy depression um dealing with my mental health and i really appreciate you if you have been enjoying that because i've been completely vulnerable in those vlogs and completely transparent with you as well um i've also been trying to do that health journey like you saw throughout those vlogs it's still continuing and basically for may june and july we really just um you know my partner's birthday happened i was in that process of like trying to get my ltc you can google that if you're a big girl you can google that up let me look at my photos because i have like good picture memories let me see hold on but yeah i was just dealing with obviously depression and it's not easy to be unemployed like it's it starts to get a little bit scary and harder when you run out of things like unemployment and nobody's hiring you back and i'll just be honest with you the job or work field right now very hard to get into um luckily around august or june no, July, August, I did end up getting a job. So I do have a job right now. Thank you. And a career that I love. Thank you to the universe and to everybody else above. Um, but basically, and I'm just trying to I'm just trying to see the history here. I want to put I'll put little pictures on the screen too. How's about that guys? So so throughout May, June, and July, basically what happened was I was spending a lot more time with my family, rekindling some bonds. My sister has been in the works of preparing for her birthday in October. So we did a photo shoot with her, put a little picture here. Um, my friend had a baby shower for her second baby. Put a picture right here. And you know, um, what else? Spending time with family and siblings a lot, a lot of girls day. Like I'll put pictures of girls day here. Girls day has come to a finish because we all, we all have jobs, but like for me, it was more flexible. And then honestly, when I started my job, it seemed like all of us kind of like had a switch of schedule. So girls day is temporarily retired for now. What else? You know, I obviously did my hair, I got a little blonde situation going on. It's just straightened for now, but I've been still doing the curls. The curls still look good. Put a picture here. Celebrated my boyfriend's birthday. And yeah, we have just been like, living life and adjusting to a new job i'm just looking on my phone make sure i'm not missing anything yeah like hanging with family and friends and really just kind of taking that summer in um and i've been trying to figure out my editing schedule with my new job and you know trying to figure out entrepreneur life which i did retire but more like side hustle life with your nine to five life nine to five um and i say this because i don't work the nine to five I work eight to four but it's okay but you know um you know life has just been life and we are trying to work very hard i might pick up a second job to be able to save up really really not that i can't right now but like a double like an extra save up to move out because we do want to buy a house that's really our goal right now like a big goal um I'm, i was like short term long term i can't think of the word right now but it's a goal we're working on so i definitely am really prioritizing posting being consistent because it brings happiness to me um and working my job um trying to elevate within my job you know things like that like you know, oh, I had my birthday too last month, August, and you'll see a vlog of that, but I'll put a little picture here. So we've just been living life. Okay, so I just wanted to kind of give, step in and give you that May, June, July recap because now we're really getting closer to present day, present day vlogs. My goal lately has been to upload Wednesdays and Saturdays. It might be just a Wednesday, it might just be just a Saturday, it might be both days. You know what I'm saying? So bear with me. I have grown my community a lot in the last few months of consistently posting. Um, I remember I was stuck at 200 subscribers for like several years, honestly. 
and we have been able to get up to 558 right now i think at the time of me recording this and that for me is a big win um again i know people are like that's not that serious but to me it is you try to talk in a room full of 550 people i can't so anyways um i wanted to just hop in say hey give you that update kind of like fast forward um give you that season recap the what you what happened last episode recap and yeah um oh and we went on another cruise so there's a vlog coming on that too i think I'll, i can put a picture on the screen but yeah i've been vlogging okay so anyways thank you guys and i don't know where this is going in the video oh yeah um thank you guys for watching so far enjoy this little clip of me and sophia back in june or july okay on my old digital camera that i decided to buy over the summer too so enjoy all right guys no, we're I'm going myself. to chipotle sophia if you left that to drive i'm gonna be pissed i'm not gonna wait think she think i'm dumb oh. anyways we're at the chipotle Please leave your message for six can you guys see my face okay this is really close Five. how much does this camera cost $200. Really? I want a camera like this. This is my okay, name. Am I gonna make Get me this for Christmas with your new job. Oh my god. Oh my god, is this where like they play like the old memories like on movies, like on like a camera like this? Oh my god. Like, that's that camera mommy would use what when if I, I was like What if I get fucking murdered and like this is what pops up? I hate driving this car. Alright, I'm done. I'm calling Cynthia and letting Shut her know. Up. The smoothie place, probably, or the ice cream? Chipotle and ice cream, my mommy. Okay, this parking is <laughs> Bro, my brother won't pick up, bro. I was like, that don't sound like H. Oh, no. I'm calling my brother to tell him to leave my pillow outside, but he won't pick up, so I don't even know what I'm... I'll probably go back home and get it, but, like, I don't even know. Why do you need a pillow? Because I forgot my pillow at my house. Why do you need a pillow, though? Am I not sleeping at your house, Cynthia? Yes, but why do you need a pillow? I have plenty of pillows. Yeah, I have squishmallows. Those are the best things ever. Okay, Shorty, you should have told me that 10 minutes ago before I was spam calling my, my brother. Jesus. Well, obviously, I have one on. I just thought you knew. Thank you. Okay. I'm at the place right now, so I'll let you know when I leave. I don't have the keys. You never gave it to me. <sighs> Annoying. We sit outside. Have a nice dinner. It's cold as f. Okay, salty. Like, let me know. Okay. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> Girl, I forgot about that dieta. Let me be honest with you, baby. If you're not reminding me weekly, is it locked? Imagine. I'm like. I'm like. A bowl. I had Cadoba the other day. But Chipotle is so much better than Cadoba, like in my I feel like they'll have like seasoning, right? Cadoba does, but it's just like it just doesn't hit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I feel like right now. We're gonna do it so bold. Hey, hello. She's recording. Welcome. At Chipotle Grubbin. Bong. Imagine you can't see my you think you can see my face. Are you with your teeth? <laughs> can you see me? Oh, it's literally, your neck was like, and they see me? Oh my gosh. There you go. Imagine you're editing, and that's what you... <laughs> mm. Okay, but the chicken went hard with this one. Why? And look at your arm, too. <laughs> no. I'm actually mad they didn't have chips, but it's okay. Bro, like... I was kind of looking forward to that, but no, I didn't know what you were, um, what you meant when you were like, should I get more on the side? I was like, hmm? when you were like, should I get more on the side? I was like, of what? Sour cream. <laughs> the whole damn, okay, I was like, girl. I'm like, can I get more chicken on the side? He's like, what? <laughs> no, I thought she meant like the whole bowl, but like, in one of these, I was like, yeah, they don't, they don't embarrass me. <laughs> can I get another order of that, just in a small bowl? Where are we going to get injured? You got to go back in there, room. Mm hmm no. Does he like subs? Mm-hmm. You can go to Jersey Mike. Mm -hmm. Do you know Birria Tacos? Oh, the closest thing. Don't play. I never had those. I'm not fucking playing. I went one time, I never went back. What do you think? 
Hey. She got a little kick to it, a little oomph. That with a little sour kick. She got a little oomph. Mm. What is that, a steak? I just like both steak, yeah. Barbacoa. It's called barbacoa. So I have to say barbacoa. Mm. It just keeps happening. Like, I know you didn't ask for a side of sour cream just to have that little bit. Mm. Yeah, I thought I wanted more, but. Like. No, no just grab the things on, on your wrist. That's fine. <laughs> Not too spit rice on them. Let me show you a TikTok of what that quality is like. Anyways, guys. Why not? Not the Spanish music. Girl, I'm surprised. That Chipotle is real diverse. Which is weird because we're in Beverly. Who fuck with me in Beverly? I might as well go back to even start the top. I'm gonna be like. I'm gonna look at me like this. I'm gonna be like, do you think he does his own tats? I don't know, but they're good. So my artist can, so my artist can't. Should I ask him? He goes, did you? <laughs> Should I be like, did you do those? <laughs> see right I was chewing a fresh <laughs> Did you even press record? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Am I recording? Mm -hmm. It is. Yo, like, embarrassing. Okay, I see what you do with the little cheese. I see. It. Thank you, Martha P, for this meal. Amen. She's the vecina que puede. I'm dead. Es la vecina que puede. Vamos, mis amores. Janina. Excuse me. Uh, Ew. Oh. Oye, todo el mundo, nadie maneja por aquí. A bicicleta, nada más. I mean, I don't think I blame them. Cuando no hay nada que comer. The lemonade isn't lemonading. What'd you say? Think it's what? Ugh, I just want a man, you know? <clears throat> Kidding, I'm living life, hoes. So, I'm currently recording because Changi is too much of a pussy to record in public, so... They know. They know. They know. We got some minutes left on this. I think. Is it recording? Okay, we're back. So, oh, you just got my whole double chin. Hold, hold it with the strap. <laughs> <laughs> if you drop that shit, we're not so sick. <laughs> we go at, just got my brother a ham, cheese, and like bacon. When I'm paying with my mom's car, my mom's card, I always leave a tip because I just, I'm so dead ass. I see you click notes. I click. I see the tip. That's it. I click the tip. That's it. I click the zero. I swear to God, I clicked 0 0.92. Yeah, she said. On Abuela's life, I clicked the 0 0.92. So, you don't care about Abuela's life. so on my dead, on my dead grandfather, I clicked the 0 0.92 cents. I gave her 92 cents for something or something. That's why she was cheesing at the end. Cause I gave her a fucking tip, bitch. <laughs> she said, take the cookie on me. <laughs> okay, you struggling. Good. I gave him a little visit. <laughs> you just slapped him. I know. 